Akemi Homer here is from the series Madoka Magica in which she acts as the main protagonist in which she has the hearts for Madoka and is willing to sacrifice anything for her well-being. And the grandiose form that is depicted here is from the sequel film Rebellion in which a deeply depressed and love deprived Homura changes herself from the doctor to the master in which the Japanese mistitled as Akuma when in reality she did nothing wrong. When closely observing the head, the hair is more or less identical to Homer's magical girl form as the flat shape of the cranium is there, alongside the twin semi-ponytails. Objection! But a slight variation can be found through the said ponytail as they happen to be straight alongside the fact that they are longer in length when compared to the original. This is in addition to the extra hairline found on the outer parts of the hair. But maybe the most important variation is the addition to the bow on the left side of the cranium, which was non-existent in the original release, but also different from the one given to her by Madoka, as the hollow bow has been replaced with a chunky boy that signifies Homura's change from the one that simps over Madoka to a being that simps over Madoka. But the cranium isn't the only point of change as the face has also undergone such transformation as seen through the eyes as the once dull but large eyes has taken the IRL Asian treatment as the ones on the devil variant are smaller with a few drops of depression for extra measure. Beautifully portraying Homer's grief-stricken simp nature. Then there are your sharp anime style nose and a slight grin that portrays Homer has finally found happiness through making God her own personal Oshino Ko. And we have an extra face where the grin is nowhere to be seen and the eyes are looking with a stare of disgust towards this little shit. A point to note is that the face on the OG Homura can be placed on the devil variant. So if you want the expressions found on the innocent magical girl variant on the devil version, just place them onto the head and you have a more angelic version of Homura as if sent by Madoka herself. Or for a more screen accurate presentation, you can add the current devil face on the magical girl variant for a more depressed form of Homura, more accurately depicting real life Asian students in their natural habitat. <laughs> when moving down to the outfit, let's be honest here, she's flat. Besides the beautiful neck decoration that somehow makes Homura more hot and is connected with what seems to be the remnants of a soul stone on the chest, the rest of the outfit is all skin tight and highlights Homura's extravagant outline. From the semi-exposed belly button indicating low levels of fat on the abdomen and the back exposed in its entirety with just slight remnants of garment. And the arms are covered in a tight garment, conveying most of the arm with only the top portions being exposed, all adding up to a body that would make even the Baba Yaga blush. Over a minor? Moving below the bell, Homura possesses a great pair of leggings in which the combination of different patterns up to the socks are drip AF. And if you view from the larger picture, they are tight on Homura's leg with only the top parts of the legs being exposed, conveying the message that ultimate Homura may not be an outright slut in the traditionalistic Asian eyes, Sexu. but have a slight devious side. Probably a big fan of Nando's engaging other with a dust of better banter. And being cheeky bastard. And his shoes, rather than being heels, all your run the mill Japanese high school uniform shoes, which does have a decent design, but it's there to highlight the truth that Homer here is still a virgin. And let's not forget the oh so beautiful skirt, which has gained a feisty design with the feather resembling shape with the serrated edges, the added length that outstretches Homer's legs, and the blue dots embedded inside of the skirt, making it a far cry from the skirt found on the magical girl form and the antithesis to Madoka's goddess form, and the skirt also acts as a protective measure against potential pedos as even splitting the legs doesn't reveal Homer's pants. Truly a feat of human engineering. But if you're curious on which color she's wearing, let's just say Miyuki would be a big fan. And as the final portrayal of Ascension, Homura is accompanied by a pair of angelic wings which are composed of a translucent plastic which starts off black but ends with a clear color. And each individual feather is intricately detailed as they retain the features on an actual feather and are organically placed on top of one another, in which they are connected through a white framework with black lines attached. And all of these individual parts are connected through a translucent plastic piece with a 3mm hole which can be easily attached to the back. 
making Homer a truly majestic entity that can either be your angel or your devil. When looking at what Homer is accompanied by, this is it. Besides the faces previously mentioned, there are your hands. Besides your open hands for, for groping her beloved, fists for punching those who harm Madoka, holding hands to hold nothing Homer is accompanied by, but great when holding Madoka's, pointing hands for going full on Makima, an open hand with a 3mm peg for placing this, a pinching hand for pinching this little shit, and an ordinary hand with a 3mm peg in which you place on the magical girl variant in order to replicate Homura's turn to the dark side. Talk about a soul gem, it is a casing that holds Homura's soul and at this point is a grief seed as portrayed through the black casing, a symptom of severe anxiety and depression commonly seen throughout Asia. And of course, there is your favorite animal companion, Kube, which, with its cat-like features and emotionless fakes, makes for the perfect pet. But a unique point about this Kube is that it has a slight bulge on the neck, perfectly portraying when Kube is picked up by Homura and... When looking at how Homura scales, as your typical Japanese high school student, she's in the smaller side and identical with the previous iteration standing at 12.5 centimeters or 4.9 inches tall. But it is a completely different story when in flight mode as the wings and skirt add to Homura's height in which she stands at roughly 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches tall, towering over most humans and standing side by side next to fellow gods. Here's Figma Homer next to Gumpla, Aya Toys, SH Figots, Figma, and SH Monsters Iris. When look at Homer's posability, as an old fashioned Figma figure, I expected her to be limited compared to her Alpha Generation Figmas. But to my surprise, she was on par with most of the Alpha Figmas. So let's take a good old look! The head can freely move up and down thanks to the flexibility in the hair, as well as moving side to side. The shoulders can lift for the classic Japanese Spencer! Elbows can bend 90 degrees. Pretty good hand movement, light chest movement, waist movement. <laughs> Lift the skirt up and the legs will do it for you. Of course, a great spread. Ugh, she is an eldritch being after all. Great knee bend and pretty impressive feet movement. So when it comes to articulation, better than the big G and John Wick. The Figma version of the <coughs> Devil Homura is a masterful piece in the Figma line and truly majestic for non-intensive purposes, as she possesses the top tier characteristics found in Figma figures that elevate her to godly levels. From the screen accurate sculpt, beautifully inscribed details, great range of articulation, and a size that makes her toe to toe with the King of the Monsters himself. The only gripe is the lack of accessories which are limited even compared to modern day Figmas. But even so, if you're a fan of Homura and is highly anticipating the upcoming film, I would highly recommend the Devil Homura here. With that said, I'm going to give the Devil Homura a ranking of an A. Uh -huh.